guys welcome back to my channel happy new year it's already what i don't even know what day it is let's let's see it's already the 10th but um i haven't seen you since last year in youtube time so hello um today's video is just gonna be um <laughs> i don't even know i only have like an hour so yeah, it's going to be pretty chill. I think I'm just going to use the products that were in my Shop My Stash because I'm about to do a new one just to freshen things up. Not like I'm going anywhere. So um, where I live, we're actually in a lockdown again and we have a curfew. So definitely not really doing anything that would require me putting makeup on. <laughs> But I actually have a Zoom meeting today. Not not a meeting. It's like with family. So I'm just going to put like a very natural everyday look on, I guess. So I'll just get started because like I said, I don't have much time. I already have um, moisturizer and like skincare on and stuff. Oh, and I have a lip balm on, which is very special to me because I made it myself. Um, so just to like plug my Etsy shop, um, this is my lip balm that I'm wearing. It's called Warm Spice and it's cinnamon bark and orange essential oil mixed obviously with the lip balm formula, which is really good, I must say. Um, I'll just read the ingredients because yeah, it's um, organic beeswax, unrefined raw shea butter, organic cocoa butter, cold pressed organic coconut oil and 100% pure almond oil and 100% pure castor oil which um castor oil i was like does that really go in a lip balm but i read up on it and it actually adds shine so if you can see it's quite a shiny lip balm um, yeah, I really just like it, so I had to mention it because I haven't even told you guys about my Etsy shop. I'll link it down below and maybe do like a separate video um, just on that because that's a whole other topic, but yeah. So first, what am I going to do? Um, yes, I had a primer. Actually, let me put this on first, the Tatcha thing I can never remember the name of, the Pearl eye treatment thing um i actually have the tula like eye balm on which i actually really like for um under makeup um but i think if i put it like if i wear it too regularly i get some breakouts actually like i don't know if you can see this dot here this was like an actual pimple on my brow bone which I never get and it happened like the day after I put that on so I'm pretty sure that's what it was but it does sit really nicely under makeup and it does actually like brighten I don't remember the name of it it's the blue one but I'll leave it down below like I always do and I do have a primer when I shot my stash it was the Glassy Skin Balm, the Pretty Filter Glassy Skin Balm from Touch and Soul. I really like this actually, but the other day I tried to see what this would do under a powder foundation and it was a no-go. So yeah, <laughs> if, in case you're wondering, I'm just going to use my nail to get this out. And I don't want to put too much because even though this is like a cream formula, I find it does have like that silicone property, like um, like a pore filling primer almost. So if you put too much, it can start to pill, at least I've seen from what I've seen. Should I move this down? I'm so like out of... No, now you can't see me. Um, I like forgot how to film your videos because I haven't done it in so 
long. Yeah, so like I just said, it doesn't go with powder foundation. And I actually did have my Makeup Forever powder foundations in my Shop My Stash. Because I really wanted to try them and I just kept leaving them and they were still in the packaging and everything. But I did try it, like I have tried it before. I just put it in there so I'd use it more. But it doesn't go with this primer, so I won't use that today. Um, let's see. If you saw in my Shop My Stash video, um, was it in that video? I was using an app to like randomly choose products in my collection and I've actually been using I've actually been using that like every time I do my makeup recently because I just find it's fun to like try things that I might not have reached for otherwise and it's making me get more use out of my collection so let me do that for the foundation it's called tiny decisions um, so I just have like all the categories of my makeup here. So I'll go to foundation and then I spin a wheel to see <laughs> what uh, foundation I'm going to use. Oh, I got the wet and wild. Well, it just says wet and wild, but I know that's, I only have one, so let me get it. It's the wet and wild photo focus, the dewy one. Is this focusing? Yeah. There. Um, I've been using this a few times and I find it's one of those foundations that I don't really like how it looks when I first put it on, but then it like absorbs into my skin, I guess, or mixes with my natural oils and ends up looking okay. So, yeah. I'm going to use um, my normal sponge, which I should probably s switch out soon. My Real Techniques sponge. I do have a new sponge from Hip Dot, which I got in a boxy charm, and it looks really like nice and soft. So I want to try that. And I also this foundation, um, I think it's a shade... Yeah, it's definitely a <laughs> shade too light. So that's maybe another reason why I don't love it at first, but when I get like my bronzer and everything on, it looks better. I probably should have spot concealed before, actually. See, like today I like how it looks, so I don't know. I guess it just depends like what primer I use with it, if my skin is like hydrated, you know, that pretty much goes for any foundation that I use. For concealer, I did have one in my Shop My Stash. I don't know if you can hear that in the background. It's my diffuser, so sorry. I usually turn it off before filming, but I forgot. So if you hear, whoosh, it's that. Right, so the concealer is the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I actually have been really liking this. Um, I've been using it as like a foundation also. Um, not all over the face, but like as um, like a spot, spot foundation. I don't know what I'm saying. So, and the trick is that you don't use a lot. I like just put one dot here in the inner corners and then on the outer corner and blend it out. Um, and because this foundation is so light for me, I don't know, this concealer is like darker than the foundation. Oh dear, this might be a mess. Definitely not a highlighting concealer um, with this shade of foundation. Um, I actually got this in a boxy charm also. It's the shade Pearl. Um, they let us like choose, but by the time I went to choose, like the lighter shades were already out of stock. So this was the lightest one I could get. Yeah, I think my camera is too high up. 
I'm trying to find like the best position for my camera. Right now it's on my table on a tripod. Like on the the first level. But I think I don't know. Should it be in front of me more? I don't know. Cause when I look like close to my mirror, I disappear and you can't even see what I'm doing. I'll have to figure out something. So the way I've been putting concealer on, it's not, oh, as you saw, it's a really small amount. So you can still see like some discoloration under my eyes, but I find if I put too much concealer, it ends up looking worse. Like I look better without concealer on at that point so I've been trying to do it really minimal and then using a powder to like brighten it up okay before I put my primer on my eye shadow primer I'm going to do the rest of my face because I have more cream products to use I'm gonna do my bronzer the Fenty cream bronzer in butter biscuit Oh, and another thing, something else is breaking me out, and I hope it's not this because I really like this formula, but I'm getting breakouts like exactly where I put bronzer, and I've been using pretty much only this or my Pure Cosmetics Mineral Glow. Could be that, actually. I don't know. Just something to note. But I really do like this one. Um, what kind of brush? Should I use though? I like to use this brush for cream products because it's a foundation brush, I think. I'm pretty sure. It's the Sephora Pro Mini Flawless Airbrush. Um, I got it as like a rouge gift thing, but I think they do sell this as like a regular size brush. And I find with this shade, the Butter Biscuit, I can put a lot of this and it doesn't look crazy. Um, because it's actually quite a light shade, like maybe I should have even got a deeper one. But you guys know like Fenty has so many shades of everything, which is great. Um, but I never know what shade to get. Because <laughs> usually, like before all these brands started coming out with like 50 shades, a foundation and concealer I was always like oh well I'm the lightest one because I was but now like the industry is so good at being more inclusive and like there's definitely people out there that are lighter than me so now I'm no longer the lightest shade and then but now I have to actually like choose a shade and <laughs> it's hard for me and for blush, I had my Kaja, I don't know what this is called, Cheeky Stamp or something, in the shade Koi. I've actually used this quite a bit. Um, what I've noticed from using it more and more is, um, this is the applicator, it's like a stamp if you haven't seen it before. But the product like builds up on this and like becomes hard and weird. So yeah, I don't know if I'll keep using the stamp. It was fun at first, but now like I might just start going in directly in the in this thing with my sponge or something because I don't feel like it's doing what it used to. Like, let's see. You're supposed to just like do this with it. And I just find like you can't even tell anymore that it's a shape of a heart or Maybe you can. Oh, that was a lot. <laughs> so, let's start with that. And for cream blush, I've been using this e.l.f. brush here. It's like, um, a, I guess it's a duo fiber brush, but usually you can tell more with this one, not so much. But I really like this for cream products. Like, see what happened here? Some of that crusty stuff that was stuck on the stamp. 
um, went on my face and won't go away. But I do really like this um, formula. Like once it's blended out, it looks so nice and natural. And I don't know what's giving me like that glow. Is it this or the primer or the foundation? <laughs> I don't know, but I like it. What do I have for highlight? Okay, I don't have any cream highlighter in my shop my stash, so we'll do the powder products now. Which means I will go in first with my Becca um, Under Eye Brightening Setting Powder. So like I was saying before, this is what I like to do. Instead of putting more concealer on, I put less concealer and then I use like a brightening powder on top. Which is working out pretty good for me. So this is like a translucent powder. I've talked about it a lot actually, so I won't say much more. Um, but I just use a tiny bit and then I just dab it on and I've been really liking this. I find it doesn't um, interfere like with my concealers and I think it actually works so yeah. Another product, oh no, I was going to say I got this in a BoxyCharm but actually my cousin gifted this to me so Thank you for this, if you're watching. <laughs> okay, so highlighter. I have a lot of options. I have my Flower Beauty um, Lift and Sculpt Contouring Palette. This highlighter here, one of my favorites. But what have I not used enough? I've used this quite a bit, um, my Kat Von D, sorry, KVD Vegan Beauty Alchemist Holographic Palette, but I'm not, I'm not going to put a holographic highlighter on today, I don't think, even though this is um, actually not too crazy, like you don't get like a blue or a green streak, it's a subtle shift of color, which I really like. Oh, but I haven't used this enough. The um, ABH Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit looks like this. Another product gifted to me from my cousin. Um, I should use this, I think. Let's try this 143 shade. I don't know if that's going to be too deep, but we'll see. I'll use a fan brush so that I don't over apply this one from Quo um, it's like a more fluffy fan brush this I got for like a dollar on clearance and yeah <laughs> I think that's working I'm always afraid with like these more gold tone highlighters that it's gonna leave like a gold cast and I hate that look you know what I mean? Where it's like, it looks like you put eyeshadow as highlighter. Yeah, like I can see if I keep putting more of this on, it might get to that point. So I'll leave it like that for now. Because, yeah, I think this shade does have some gold reflect. It's quite glittery too, but not in a bad way, actually. I won't put any on my chin because I don't, <laughs> I don't need a glittery chin. I think that's enough. A lot of um, fallout with these shades. I guess you can't tell on camera, but just something to note. But I don't think it fell out like on my face, so that's good. Now we can go to the eyeshadow. So I'm trying to use this more my urban decay eyeshadow primer in original eyeshadow primer potion first because it's getting old but also because whenever i don't use this i regret it and i'm and i see that my shadows have creased and i'm like why didn't i just use my primer because it actually works
And the key to this is to really just put it on at the last minute because if you get any powder into this, like before you've blended it out, uh, it gets really weird, I've noticed. Like if I had gotten some of that Becca into this, it wouldn't have been good. So learned my lesson on that. Ooh. <laughs> what time is it? Okay. I actually really like how this is looking so far. Very happy. Except for this um, hive that appeared when I was trying to get that fleck of dry blush off my face, but whatever. Eyeshadow. You know what I haven't used enough? This Dominique. Oh, the lighting. Oh, I'm sorry about that. You know what I hate? <laughs> I hate watching videos, makeup videos, which I do a lot, and they're like, look how beautiful this is. And it's like a, a blank white screen because they have so many lights on them. And I'm like, do you not see that we can't even tell what you're showing? Anyway, that, I'm just getting kind of sassy, but it's just really annoying because I want to see how beautiful it is, but I can't. Cause you have too much light on but anyway <laughs> uh this i have used this like once or twice in my life which is not good because i've had it for a long time so let's use this today um, i remember really liking it when i did use it so i'm gonna go in first with this vanilla cream shade um just to like set the primer and you know give me a base which i normally do i like this shade because it's has like a bit of yellow in it so it gives like a brightening effect at the same time which i like yeah, because this is a more like natural look, I'm going to go in with the shade Caramel. I was thinking maybe I would use Pumpkin Spice, but then it's going to get very warm and blown out. Which is like something I always do, so just to keep it on the lighter side. This actually isn't even that light. It's still pretty warm. I don't know if it's because I had already shadow on this brush probably so when i do my like crease shade i put it down quite high because um if not when i open my eye you can't even see because my eyes are very like deep set and i like to kind of wing it out here because my brow bone comes down like lower if you can see so just a way to like make my eyes look more open but you do whatever your eye shape is best suited for because I find like when I first started watching YouTube videos I would try to do exactly what the person was doing but their eye shape was like totally not the same as mine and I would be like, why does this look horrible on me? Well, it's because I was trying to mimic someone else's eye shape that I didn't have, if that makes sense. Um, what do we want to put on the lid? Yeah. Um, let's keep it light and I'll use this shade Macchiato. The shimmer shade. Um, have you guys tried the Latte 2 palette? Because I haven't really seen good reviews. Um, so I haven't been inclined to like try it myself. But if you have, let me know what you think. Where's my shimmer brush? This is a new brush um, 
from Billion Dollar Brushes. I got it in a boxy charm. It's called Concealer Brush. Well, I'm using it for shadow, so whatever. Ooh, I like this. I love when shimmer shades just go on very smoothly on the eye. And that way you don't have to keep packing them on and then you get fallout and like glare on your face. So I really like this formula. I really like this shade actually. Yeah. I do like this palette. I remember now. <laughs> um, I also ordered... I'll do another video on my haul. Oh my god, why am I like this? But I ordered the Dominique Cosmetics Berries and Cream palette because it was... Was it 50% off? I don't know. It was on sale and I got some Sephora gift cards for Christmas. So I'll do a haul on that. But I'm pretty excited to try more um, products from Dominique's brand because I, like I said, I really like this palette and I feel like it's really good quality. And yeah, I just wanted to try out some more stuff. Should I deepen out? Okay, I might deepen this some more just for some depth. Um, let me try this. Sephora Pro Bullet Crease Brush and I'm gonna go in with just a touch of this hazelnut shade just on the there's quite a lot of kickback in these shades if you can see nope if you can see that yeah just uh, to let you know I'm just putting it here I really like this. For the bottom lash line, I'm gonna go back in with that caramel shade on this MAC, with with this MAC 219 brush. It's like a pencil brush. Maybe just some of that vanilla cream shade um, just to brighten it up a bit more um, towards the inner corner. There's not really like a shade in this palette that I would use to highlight this macchiato shade maybe, um, but I already used that on my lid, so there's nothing lighter than that. So I'm going to go back in with my highlighter. Actually, I'm going to go in with this. Basically, it's a white shade, um, Forever Lit. I don't remember if this has like a color shift. This is not the right brush for that, actually. I need a more, like, flat brush, like this one. This is the same brush I use literally every time I put inner corner highlight on. It's the number five brush from Aveda. That is intense. I think that's it for that. Um, let me just make sure that's blended nicely and I'm on my waterline I'm going to put my well I'll just get it I'm going to put my Tarte uh, Fake Awake uh, eyeliner on my waterline because it just helps to like brighten up everything and I just really like it I'm going to do mascara and brows. I might as well just do it. I'll just tell you what I'm using. Oh, because I do have a new product, actually. Um, so, where did I get this? Uh, BoxyCharm Pop-Up. I did place an order. Um, this was one of the things. It's a Milk Cosmetics... No. <laughs> milk Makeup. Kush Clear Brow Gel <laughs> um, because I don't have any clear brow gel 
and I got this for like a really discounted price so I thought I could use it with my Essence Make Me Brow which I've said before I don't really love this but using the two together it has been pretty good but I just really miss my Hourglass Fiber Brow Gel so I'm probably just going to repurchase that when I'm done with this one which sucks because it's like 10 times the price of this but yeah, it's just not, it's not my favorite. And I really like the brush on the Hourglass one because it has like um, longer hairs on one end and I find like it really helps to lift my brow hairs, which I don't have a lot of. So I put this on first, and while it's like drying, I do my mascara, which is like a very crazy three-step process, but I'm just trying to use these products. Um, well, one of them is sort of new, but these two I'm just trying to use up the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, the primer, and the mascara, and my battery's gonna die. Sorry, my battery was gonna die, and I don't have time to charge it up so um all i did was i put my um the products i was telling you the milk um eyebrow gel and the make me brow and for my mascara i used the primer the l'oreal voluminous base and the l'oreal lash paradise and then on the bottom lashes i used the wet n wild mega length mascara same thing i've been doing in other videos um, and then for my lip, it's the Fenty Gloss Balm in the shade Fussy. And then for setting spray, I use my Watermelon Glow. So, yeah. Um, my battery's dying, like I said, so I have to go. <laughs> but I hope you like this video, and, um, I hope you're having a good start to 2021. I mean, as good as it can be. And hopefully I will be back with more videos, so subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!